TV. Hey, Rat, was good, man? Sure. Trying to holler at you, man. You a superstar now. You starting uh, start messing with Mace. You on a different level now. Can't hit you on the phone no more. What's up? Not at all, man. I'm just, you know, staying low. You know, staying out the way. You know how that should be, man. Yeah, I see. Don't, don't act like you don't know nobody no more, man. Come on, bro. Not at all, man. You know, it be a lot of street politics that I do stay out of because it's stuff that ain't really got nothing to do with me. But I'm here, man. Talk to me. What's up? Talk to me, homie. Man, everything good, man. It's laying low, man. I just, you know what I'm saying? Been trying to get my mind right, you know, get back in my spiritual realm and uh -huh. keep it going. That's what's up. I hear that. Man, so who you be, man? Let the world, I know who you be, but let the world know. Man, who anybody you. know what I be? Stack, you know what I'm saying? I'm Stack Stone, I'm chilling. Uh -huh. One of the O's, the old heads, you know what I'm saying? I just been hearing a lot of stuff on the internet lately. Been, been mm -hmm. making my stomach turn, like this new wave that's going on is like, I was like, yo, what happened to the old school dude? The, mm -hmm. What happened to them dudes, man? Like, like the who real, you talking like, stand up dudes, man. Ooh. I mean, it ain't no more integrity out here, man. What can I tell you, man? It's a different, it's a different game, different rules. Oh, it ain't no rules. The Wild Wild West out this MF, -er, you know what I'm saying? So it's like know. snitches got their own gang right now. Damn, the I snitch gang. So I mean, being that you brought it up, is there anybody in particular you want to address, or you want me to throw some names out there and you can elaborate from there? I really like, yo, who you think? You know what I'm saying? Who's, who's got the internet in a frenzy right now? Got all these hip hop journalists looking for an interview. I mean, like, it's a lot of people. You got 6 9 you got, you know, uh, the Treyway situation, of course. You got Alpo. Oh, yeah, let me know. What? Alpo. <laughs> oh, man, yeah, Alpo. That's Alpo. Name, you know what I'm saying? Your <laughs> Alpo situation is crazy, man. Yeah, but let me ask you this. You did a little um, stretch, right? Yeah, I did. I did a stretch. Okay, how long? The last one I did was 13 years. I had 10 years and I caught a new one in Elmira. It gave me three years. I ain't come home to 2006. What was that charge for? Uh, promoting keep prison contraband. I got caught with I got caught with a burner. We was in war, you know what I'm saying? So you had to be with your... I got caught with dog food and I got caught with the burner. So... Mm -hmm. You had to have your burner on you every time in Elmira, you know what I'm saying? Got you, got you. So, being that, you know, you was doing your stretch and all that, I know certain names came up, so when Alpo name came up in the jails and all that, what was the vibes like? Yo, I know Brooklyn hated that nigga, because he hated Brooklyn, you know what I'm saying? Like, everybody, everybody from Brooklyn know that nigga hated us, you know what I'm saying? He hated us, he hated Brooklyn niggas. Like most motherfuckers hated Brooklyn niggas because Brooklyn history go back with Alpo to the to the early 80s when we was going up to them clubs in Harlem. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And going to Harlem, like on um, rooftop, Harlem world and shit like that. So Brooklyn used to go all the way deep in Harlem. We wasn't only fucking with Manhattan, like that midtown clubs. In Brooklyn it went is, everywhere. We went everywhere. Everywhere. That's why they was calling up the planet. Mm -hmm. So Everybody knew about Alpo. His name was ringing bells in New York, period. You know what I'm saying? So every Brooklyn dudes would be like, Alpo, everybody know who it was. Like, like we was basically giving them props, but you know, back then, you didn't know how a dude looked. You heard his name a lot. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So we could go, you might go to um a club, Poe could be there, but you wouldn't know who he was until you seen like, you know what I'm saying? A lot of jewelry, but I don't think he ever came to um Latin quarters, man. I tell you the truth. Mm -hmm. Like in Union Square, Latin quarters, I don't know if he was dead. Um, but what? rooftop, he could have been in rooftop when when they um they they kind of ran aside of there one night. It was like 30 Brooklyn dudes trying to rob, and the whole rooftop was chased us out of there, man. Oh, All wow. the Harlem dudes, yeah. So I think. His hate go back to Brooklyn long, man. But for what so though? Him, though? Huh? Why? What reason? I the same reason everybody be hating Brooklyn dude. Like robberies, griminess. Um we were okay. just robbing everything, man. So you know of a situation of Brooklyn dudes jamming Alpo up? Yo, um, 
It might have been, man. But I'm not, I think he might have got jammed up. He might have got raw before. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because nobody really know how you look when you go into them clubs. Nobody know who's who. But Brooklyn didn't care who you was. You know what I'm saying? Like 50 Cent, the real 50 Cent? Mm-hmm. It's a lot of dudes that had Midtown like in a tarot dome, man. Mm-hmm. Like the real, the real 50 Cent was a little dude. He was little. You looked at him, you like, this dude is 50 Cent? And he used to wear these big chains, though. That's how you knew he was somebody, because mm-hmm. he used to be in Latin quarters a lot. So I'm pretty sure Poe could have had a situation at some point. And then, you know what I'm saying? It's everybody know that he snitched on Wayne Perry. And Wayne Perry got one of those Brooklyn bodies. You know, one of them dons from Demencio. Demencio, you know what I'm saying? He was he was a Brooklyn don from Brooklyn. Mm. And that's the shit that makes me mad about Poe because he's mad dangerous because he's with authorities, you know what I'm saying? It's like he have a license to kill. Mm. And that's sad because he's like one of them dudes, like, you ever seen dudes that go to war but then call the police? They bang their gun but then put put the fix in by calling the police, you know? They not all the way thorough, you know what I'm saying? That's how, that's how, um, Alpo is. He's not. He probably he'll kill you. Kill you. But he's telling. You know what I'm saying? Well, let me say this though. I mean the streets. They talking, man. I got word. You know the homie out here, G checking cats that that was saying that he was ratting and all that. That nigga would never come to Brooklyn G checking nobody. See that tell you the level of niggas like Harlem is going for that. Mm. Niggas in Brooklyn is not going. You see what happened to his son? His son got that DNA in him too. That rat DNA. You know what, what I'm saying? His son. Yo, they robbed his son. He was fucking with some Brooklyn. He was messing with some Brooklyn dudes out here. You know what I'm saying? Came out to the projects one day. They Which lined project? them up. Huh? Which, Which project? I'm not sure. It could have been. What up, he was messing with some dudes, man. Mm-hmm. But I heard about it. You know what I'm saying? Through the streets. Right. And um, they got him. You know what I'm saying? Then he told a story like he was going to get busy. I think it was somewhere in the stock. Could have been Tonkins or something like that. Well, he told a story that he was gonna get busy. Well, he was like, it was eight dudes with masks on. I'm like, dude, all right, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Took his little jewelry or whatever. They you're lucky they ain't bang him out. You know what I'm saying? Cause it's cause it's pop lineage. You know what I'm saying? Mm. And I, I know he was mad behind that. I know he was mad behind that. Got you. But so, what was like the words? Like, what was the vibes in the um jails? Like, what was dudes saying? Being that, you know, dudes was doing their stretches and they heard about Alpo, you know, I guess. He, just made, he made New York look bad. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? He made New York look bad. You know what he is? Alpo is the black Sammy the Bull, man. Damn. He's the black Sammy the Bull. You know what I'm saying? Sammy the Bull was a killer, bro. Mm. And he was, he was murking anything, son. And that's what Paul was doing. He was getting anything in his way murked. For Stu, like his own closest friends, bro. Your closest friends, you were murked. Like you getting money. You getting money. Why would you, why would you take Rich out? You, you kill Rich, you kill Harlem, bro. You know what I'm saying? That means you, you got a mind that's twisted. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, Poe's dangerous. He's dangerous. But I don't know who's scared of him. Like he's a man, he bleed like I bleed. You know what I'm saying? He probably threw the fix in, got the police with him and all that. But yo, he, he he a foul dude. He made the whole New York look bad. That's why when dudes go to the feds, like New Yorkers, you gotta really, you know what I'm saying, be a stand-up dude. Cause now that he did that, they thinking everybody out of New York is snitch. You know what I'm saying? So big time a dude like that, just ratting on people. I, you know, with me, I like to kind of like have a balance. You got the negative side, you got the positive side. Okay, you spoke on the negative side of Poe, and you did mention that he will bust his hammer, put the work in, this, that, and the third. But also, before he went in, I heard he was doing a lot for the community, you know what I'm saying? Um, and, and helping a lot of dudes out, like putting a lot of dudes on their feet, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I heard about stories. I heard stories that he put Puffy on. Well, gave Puffy bread when he was running around, trying to get, you know what I'm saying? 
um, established on Uptown Records and all that. It's Peace world to promote your music or promote your business by placing an ad on MREC TV. Contact MREC TV promo M R E C K T V promo at gmail.com. Peace. Oh, yeah, subscribe to MREC TV youtube.com slash MREC TV. I'm gone. <laughs> M Rec TV. It's got a music. It's got a music. It's got a music.